Hey, this is Joseph with Engadget. I'm here at CES 2013 uh, with Sony Mobile, and they're just showing off the Xperia ZL, which is the cousin to the Xperia Z. Now, uh, the two phones are essentially the same, uh, except the uh, major differences here are that this does not carry the waterproof and dust rating of the Xperia Z. We have a 5-inch uh, 1080p HD display, and you can see here yourself, uh, that display actually takes up about 75% of the front face here on uh, the phone. Uh, one of the unique design elements of this handset is that down here at the bottom you can see is uh, the front facing camera. So that's sort of a, a unique uh, placement we haven't seen before uh, on smartphones. Inside there is a 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro processor which is exactly the same as the Xperia Z. So don't think uh, you're getting gypped uh, if you uh, opt for the Xperia Z L. Um, but it does miss out on that omni balance design. So here you can see uh, this is the particular white version. It will also come in black. Um, it doesn't have that sort of like uh, uh, all over symmetry with the black and uh, you know sort of the reflections. This has a nice contoured back, it's a soft touch plastic um, and you can see over here we have a port, this is an MHL micro USB and then if we turn it over to the side over here you can see here is the volume rocker in the middle you have this circular power button that going forward we were told um, all Sony mobile phones the, on the Xperia line will be carrying. And then down here um, is the uh, sort of notable addition to the Xperia ZL is a dedicated camera button um, that the Xperia Z actually does not feature. Um, and once again, just like on all uh, the latest Xperia phones, if you hold, it will do that uh, sort of uh, very fast launch for the camera. All right, and then around back, uh, you can see up here is the uh, 13 megapixel uh, camera featuring the Exmor RS sensor, uh, which is a bump up from the Exmor R. Um, and this actually uh, provides uh, HDR uh, for 1080p video, uh, which is also something new uh, for phones right now. Um, and then down here at the bottom is a sort of a covered flap that you can just pop open. And you can see uh, that's where you'll put in your micro SD uh, and the SIM card slot. All right, so what we're looking at here is uh, Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. Of course, it will be upgradable in the future as uh, those updates are made available by Sony Mobile. Um, and here on the, uh, the home screen, you can see uh, we have a few Sony media apps that were introduced. Um, they've been pre-configured. This won't necessarily look like this out of the box, but these will also be uh, in your app drawer when you launch the phone. So we have Walkman, we have Album, Movies, and PlayStation Mobile. Um, going inside into the app drawer, you'll see quite a few more like uh, Play Memories Online. Um, there's also a remote control app. This does feature the uh, infrared, so you can go ahead with any Sony compatible TV and use this as your remote control. One other uh, major addition to this is uh, the camera software. Um, Sony now features something called Superior Auto, which uh, is on by default. And when you're sort of moving the camera around, it can detect the different situations. So if it's low light, it will automatically alert you to that and swap into that mode. Uh, we'll do the same uh, if there's a lot of motion. It'll go into a speed mode. Uh, we were moving the phone around. We saw it go into infant mode. Not quite sure what that means. <laughs> All right, so this phone will be available globally in quarter ones. You can expect to see it by the end of March. It is just a little bit heavier uh, than, uh, than its uh, big brother, the Xperia Z. It's about 9.8 millimeters, and it weighs about 151 grams. Uh, but all in all, it's an excellent showing uh, from Sony Mobile. Um, so I'm Joseph with Engadget. Look forward to this. Thanks.